Okay, I think we're ready to start. <laughs> this is this has been it's a uh, there's a lot of moving parts. You'll you'll see that. <laughs> um, this is a musical that is uh, we did it probably 30 years ago at at this church, not this building, but in the old historic sanctuary when my own children, Elizabeth and Daniel, uh, were um, were probably four, five, and six or something like that. Um, it's, but the message is very clear. It is that it's a songbook that it, who is very sad because nobody's opening his pages and nobody is singing the hymns. It's very apropos because even here at the main sanctuary, where do you sing the words? You see them up on the screen. And very few people pick up a hymnal. And there is something to those of us who are older who grew up with a hymnal. I can tell you pretty much the number of any hymn in the Cokesbury hymnal. You know, uh, so we, we've kind of lost that. But it's important to Salty, and it's important that we sing the songs of our faith. So that's what this, this story is about. You may not be able to understand or hear all the words, uh, but they have done a really good job learning their parts and, and singing the songs. We look forward to having uh, the children come down now. They're going to be in the aisles while they come down. They are going to... Salty needs a mic check. It looks. Hey, Larry. You got test, it. test. Got it. Okay. Now to get into character. What's <clears throat> <gasps> 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 that noise? He's crying. <gasps> I don't know. Where's it coming from? Sounds like from that old song book. <gasps> Maybe it's got a name. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Sandler, do you have a name? Yes. He talks. He really talks. Well, well, well what's your name? Well, my name's Salty. Salty? Why are you crying? Well, because I'm a songbook and no one will sing my songs. They just threw me off here in the corner and forgot all about me. We'll sing your music. Yeah, we'll sing your songs, won't we? Yeah. You will? Oh, that's great, but but I'm a kid's songbook. I need kids to sing my songs. You are? But how do we start? Well, it may sound kind of silly, but the first thing you have to do is think happy thoughts about Jesus. Happy thoughts about Jesus? Well, yes, like... Like he's your Lord and your Savior, and he loves you very, very much. He loves me? He loves me. He loves me! You're right, you're right, you're doing it. This is wonderful. Praise the Lord!
tomorrow night he must be born again. Marvel not, he must be born again. Marvel not, he must be born Something else. What do you call that stuff? Well, it's called praise, and it happens every time you think happy thoughts about Jesus and how much he loves you and oh, oh, it's happening again. There's another song. Give me another song. Let's all sing it together, guys.
This is neat. Why didn't we think of doing this before? Yeah, why don't we think of doing this before? Well, that's just it, guys. Nobody thinks about doing this anymore. You mean people don't sing anymore? That doesn't make sense. I hear people singing all the time. Well, you're right. People sing, but that doesn't mean they praise. Singing is just what comes out of your mouth, but praise is what comes out of your heart. We could sing Christian songs all day until you turn all blue. But if it doesn't come from your heart, that makes me sad. Don't cry, so. Oh, thank you. That must have come from your heart, because that made me very happy. Jesus loves us. Uh-huh, I needed that. Let's sing another beautiful song together, guys. Y'all go back and find your spots. That's another wonderful way to start a song. How? Oh. Well, by thanking him. It says in the big book, the Bible, that we should enter his courts with thanksgiving and enter his gates with praise. Have you ever heard the birds chirping? Or have you ever heard the cows mooing? Well, most of that's praise. God made each of us, the animals, and all of us people special so that we could praise him. Um, and he made each one of us so special that he'd love to hear our special praise. Aw, uh, there is nothing special about me. Uh, who said that? Me, boring old me. Wait a second, do you know Jesus? Yeah. And is he in your heart? Uh-huh. Well, then you're one of God's special children. I am. You are. I am. You are. I am. I'm God's special child. I'm special. Yeah, we're all special. We're God's special children. You've got it just right. Let's sing another song about it, guys. Let's sing. Shall I start? Yes, you certainly can start it. Lofton, let's go find our spots.
girls. Wow, this is fun. Singing is fun. I can sing all the time. Oh, that's wonderful, Claire. I'd love for you to sing all the time. But don't, don't forget, singing's fun, but praising is what comes from your heart, and that's what helps bring songs out of my book. It's very important for us to remember to put Jesus first each day in our lives so that we can seek first his kingdom. Um, can y'all sing a song about that one with me? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a lot more praise songs in my book, too. I'd love for us to keep singing. Just look at all these pages. Salty, do you know anything about heaven? Well, as a matter of fact, I do. I know that's where Jesus is, and if he's there, it must be a pretty wonderful place. Do you have a song about it? Oh, oh don't worry about that. I've got lots of songs. Would you like to sing it with me? Okay, can you turn to page Psalm 53? Woohoo! -hoo. It tickles. Uh -huh. One more page. Okay, here we go. Let's all sing together, guys. Is a wonderful place filled with glory and grace. Salty, singing these songs makes me want to love everyone. But it's hard to love everybody. You're right, kids. It's not easy to love everybody all the time. And if we try to do it just on our own, sometimes we find ourselves running out of steam. I know what you mean. There's this kid at my school, and I know I'm supposed to love him, but he drives me crazy. What do I do? Well, the first thing you should do is ask Jesus to help you. There's a type of love that God has for us called agape love. Have you ever heard of that? 
Well, I'll tell you about it. Uh -huh. Agape love is God's love for us that we can have with only just asking, but we don't have to do anything uh, to earn that love. We just ask him, and he gives it to us. So uh, the first thing when you're worried about whether you can love someone or not is to ask for his help, and he'll give you his agape love. Are you sure God wants us to love everybody? Oh, I'm definitely sure. It says so in the Bible. Would you like to sing a song about it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> I did not. You did too. You're just being a big boy and I ought. Hey, wait a second, Patterson. That's not the way we should be towards each other. We just had a song about loving one another, didn't we? Yeah. But he's being a big bully. Uh, well, yes, but hang on a second. First, when we have those bad situations, we need to make sure that our hearts have the right attitude so that we can face these problems each day. How do we do that? First, we have to call on Jesus, remember? Right in the middle of a fight? Right in the middle will be fine, if not before. Believe it or not, I have a song about that too. Do you want to sing it with me? It's called the Wah Wah Song. The Wah Wah Song? That's silly. Oh, well, it is kind of silly, but first you have to... I'd, I'd uh, knock on my book three times and say wah wah. Wah wah. It didn't work. Well, of course it didn't work. That's not the way you get songs out of my book. You need to praise when you do it. Oh, God, the big happy thoughts about Jesus. Uh huh. Are those happy thoughts you're thinking? <laughs> oh, that's wonderful, Jacqueline. That makes me happy, and that's wonderful, and it's going to bring that next song out of my book. Here we go, guys. <laughs>
liberty. Yes. I'm glad for Jesus Christ and that He taught me how to sing. Now, kids, isn't that a lot better than fighting? Yeah. yeah, it makes me happy. And do you know, Miles, another thing that'll make God happy? Singing songs about how much we love him each day. Would you sing this next one with me, too? Yes. Excellent. Wonderful, guys. That was wonderful. Boy, we've been here for quite some time. I guess it must be getting close to time for y'all to go home. But there's one more thing I'd love you to do with me. Do you think you could do me just one more thing? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yes, Will you take these songs that we've been singing and this newfound joy of praise and tell it to your parents and your siblings and your neighbors? and maybe the whole world? You want us to sing these songs to our friends, our parents, and the whole world? I certainly do. But we're just kids. Well, you're... We're just children. <laughs> you're right, Jacqueline. You are just a kid, but you're still a person. And now that we've learned how to praise, we have the ability to tell this to everybody to the tiniest baby cousin of yours, to your great, 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 great grandmother and everyone else that you ever have known. So remember that even though you're a child, you're a soldier in this battle. And if we ask God to help us and he'll be beside us each day, then we will find that this battle is already won and the victory is ours. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Okay, Salty. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's sing one more song together. Come on up, older kids. Y'all sing with us, too.
Thank you, everyone. Thanks for singing all my songs. I'm going to go put myself back on the shelf now. Goodbye. Bye, Salty. Y'all want to come down? Uh, we're going to pass out uh, hymnals to the children who have been in kindergarten this year, and we'll be moving up to the uh, angel chorus next year. Uh, and then the angel chorus is going to sing some songs. But if all of my choir members will stay where they are for right now, and if you are in kindergarten, come stand down here on just right here on the front part of the stage. Just make a line all the way across. Yeah, one big line, guys, all the way across here. Perfect. You're not quite in kindergarten yet, perfect, but perfect. that's okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, Eli, just, you're kindergarten, not kindergarten. just kindergarten. Yeah. Okay, okay. Just kindergarten. Just kindergarten. Okay. Just kindergarten. Okay. Just kindergarten. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. Okay. Hold on. All right, the first one is going to Luke Bailey. Uh, you want to come down here? Y'all scoot back a little bit. Mr. Ryan can come down. Here's Luke right here. Hey, Elizabeth. Uh -huh. Come get, yeah, get these and help pass them out. Okay. There we go. Now. All right, there we go. <laughs> okay, and then call out who's the next one. Clara. <laughs> Annie Rose. Where is Annie Rose? There she is. Y'all could clap for each of them if you want to. Okay. Hey, All right. Ellie, Ellie Watkins. Sarah Margaret Watkins. August Wolf. <laughs> okay, Luke Bailey. James Davis. Okay, all right, Claire Freiberg, and who do we have left? Okay, Margaret Grieve, and you have, all right, great. Okay, thank you, thank you. Let's have a big round of applause for them. Woo! Okay, can y'all take a little bow up there, all you kindergartners? We couldn't do without them. A lot of them have great voices, so the next choir up is really lucky to get them. Okay, if you were the parents of these 10, would you stand up so they can see where to come sit with you? Okay, stand hey, up, parents. Hey, parents of the kindergartners, and you all go down these risers and sit with your parents, okay, for the rest of the program. Okay, all of you kids, let's go find your parents. Okay, and if you're a parent, wait just a minute, the rest of you. Wait just, just a minute. You go ahead, Annie Rose. Go ahead. Okay, every parents, look, you're... 
Keeping Stand up if you're a kid. parent, okay? So they can find where you are, okay? All right, so go to your parents. Okay, kids, come on. Okay, can you find, you see your parents, Ro? Okay. Okay, great. Hey, Brian. Thank all of you for coming. We really appreciate it. Um, sometimes we're hoping that we can get where we do the our, our children's program during church. We used to do that a long time ago. It was nice because then everybody in the church got to hear the children. But thank you for uh, coming tonight to show it, to show them a, your love for them. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm going to keep it on. Great job. Great. Right. Yes, please. Yeah, I know they're great, aren't they? Well, I think so. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to stay right here.
Thank you all for coming. Hope you had a wonderful afternoon. We've enjoyed being with your children.